Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you a super simple but extremely effective resistance band tricep extension to help you build those triceps with minimal equipment. All right, so this is going to be a tricep specific exercise. That means that we are going to be working this horseshoe shaped muscle on the back side of your arm. And its primary responsibility, actually its only responsibility, is going to be the flexion and extension of that elbow joint. So you can see how I'm pivoting my forearm right now. That is the tricep that's doing that work, the flexion and extension of that elbow joint. So the exercise itself is very simple. We are gonna anchor a 41 inch resistance band up high, at least arm's length above your head. I'm using a wall anchor here and if you wanna do this unilaterally with one arm at a time, you're gonna need one anchor. And if you wanna do this bilaterally with two arms at a time, it's best to be able to use two wall anchors that are spread apart so that you can get these bands crossed. And that helps it to really line up the band with the joints and how we're gonna be doing this exercise. So this exercise is primarily going to focus on the flexion and extension of that elbow joint. And what we want to do is set up our shoulder and our elbow in a proper position so that we can get the maximum extension of that tricep and then the maximum retraction of it as well. So we're going to retract that shoulder blade, pull that shoulder back and lock it into position. And then you're also going to want to lock and pin that elbow down to your side so that when you're doing this exercise, the only thing that's moving is the elbow joint. So you're gonna be taking your wrist and forearm and pivoting it about that elbow joint and then squeezing hard at the bottom and then letting it up nice and slow. I don't want you to be getting a lot of movement in this, this humerus bone. This thing should not be moving around during the exercise. That thing should stay stationary and all you're doing is pivoting at that elbow joint and putting all the load into the tricep. All right, so now let's get into the bilateral or two arm version of this exercise. We're going to grab the band I like to put it kind of right around that, right below my knuckles so that you can hang on to this thing. And then when you get some tension on it, it's not tearing at your hands. So we're gonna grab one band, cross the arms, grab another band, and then we're going to center ourselves right between our two anchor points. And you're gonna get kind of a forward lean here. And again, we're pulling those shoulders back, pinning those elbows into our sides, and then pushing out, extending, and flexing those triceps hard. And you notice how the bands get closer to my body. So we want enough forward lean here so that when we extend, that brings those bands right into our body. And what that does is it matches the strength profile of the band, lines it up with our joints so that basically the band is in line with our shoulder, elbow, and wrist as, and forearm as it's, as it's going through the range of motion. And this is, it's super simple. I'm explaining a lot here, but honestly, once you get rolling, you'll feel it, you'll be comfortable. Just keep it in mind that you wanna keep those shoulders rolled back, elbows pinned to your sides, and then we're only pivoting at that elbow joint. Big squeeze at the bottom, let it up nice and slow. And that is the bilateral version of this exercise. All right, so the last thing I wanna show you is the unilateral or single arm version of this exercise in case you only have one anchor point or you wanna work one arm at a time to really isolate it. It's the same form as before, but now you're just gonna make sure that you get the band set up and position yourself so that the angle of the band basically is, is the same as it was when you were in that cross body position. So you wanna be able to have this band be in line with all of these joints as you're moving through the range of motion. And usually that's kind of about right here. And again, we're getting that maximum flexion here to start. Make sure you got tension on your band here. Don't have it be sloppy. You wanna have tension at the top, kind of pulling yourself into that flexion so that you stretch this and lengthen that tricep out as much as possible. And then you're just pushing through, keeping that elbow pin, shoulder rolled back. And squeezing it out. Again, we're, all we're doing is pivoting at that elbow joint, keeping the humerus stationary, keeping that shoulder locked, and really just grinding these guys out. 
And you should notice with this band, it's going to get more difficult to press the further we lengthen it. So at the very top of this exercise, you're gonna have a lot of resistance when you're trying to get maximum extension of this joint and locking that tricep out. All right, so that wraps it up for our short tricep extension demo video here. I want you to try these out, try the bilateral version, try the unilateral version, and then let me know in the comments which one you like. Also, let me know if you have any issues with the setup or if you have some more questions, please drop it in the comments. We'll be happy to answer that. As always, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button if you wanna see more content from us and it helps us to grow our channel. And if you need any bands or accessories, head over to clenchfitness.com and thanks for watching.